three locusts. Right now, we're going to go to the Bantai Watch Tower. The Bantai Bell Tower was built in 1591. It was actually a watchtower that turned into a bell tower in 1857. Its location makes it the best place to watch over vegan and Bantai towns. This is Pauai Church. The Pauai Church is also called San Augustine Church. The design of this church shows our Spanish, Chinese, and Filipino heritage. It was declared a national cultural treasure in 1973. We're going on the sand dunes. My most exciting experience in Ilocos was speeding through the humps and bumps of the famous Pauai sand dunes. After our 4x4 ride, we also tried sandboarding. What a ride! I'll definitely do this again. Next stop, Malacanang of the North. Malacanang of the North was the official residence of the Marcus family when Ferdinand Marcus was still the president of our country. They said they built this place for their daughter's wedding reception. Outside the grounds, I tried authentic Ilocos empanada. It had egg, meat, and vegetables in it. It was so good. You should try it too. tried pinak bet. For dinner, we went to Herencia's Garden to try their famous pizzas. They had Longanisa pizza and Pakbet pizza. So yummy! So, so this is the Pakbet pizza. We hung out at the park in front of Ilocos Norte Capital. But first, we checked out the sinking bell tower, which was just around the corner. They said that because this very heavy tower is standing on soft soil, it sinks lower to the ground by one inch every year. Ooh. We woke up very early the next morning to go to the beach. Maiiraia Beach is part of the famous Blue Lagoon in Pagudput, Ilocos Norte. So many friends greeted us there. Poe, the Ninja Turtles, the Avengers, and DC Heroes, and so much more. On our way back to Lawag, we dropped by the Bangi Windmill Farm. Did you know that these windmills supply 50% of electricity in Ilocos? Talk about sustainable energy. I got hungry, so empanada again. Mm -mm. We also checked out the Bantai Abba Cave. The wind is strong in this one. Cape Boydor White House. How far is it? Uh, just up the mountain. Kapur Parawan Rock Formation was so fun. We rode horses and we tried to stay up against the wind. Guys, we're on day three. We're in Baluarte. Baluarte Zoo is owned by Chavit Singson. There were only a few animals, but they were all healthy. There were ducks, a different kind of chicken, mongoose, peacock, zebras, and ostriches. And we listened to the lion roar in his cage. It was very loud. Welcome to Vegan! 
Then we went to visit Vegan. We got to ride the Kalesa around the city. We passed by the Burgers Museum, but it was closed. So we just checked out the shops at Calle Crisologo. We also had sorbetes. and vegan. I tried din and ding and uh, I also ate uh, adobo. Hi guys. Hi guys. Final stop was Corina Bridge, which we stopped over on our way home. This iconic bridge was built for the late Elpidio Quirino and it goes over the Great Abra River. It's so beautiful here. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed learning a bit of Vlogos from me. See you on our next travel vlog. This is Lucas saying, travel on. Yeah.